Daryl Mitchell carried his bat through the Worcestershire first innings at home to Hampshire, the fourth time he's done that in his career, recording his second double hundred in the process as his team took control of their latest LV County Championship match at New Road. Mitchell started the second morning on 105, made out of his side's 228 for five, and the first session, again interrupted more than once because of the weather, saw Worcestershire advance further. Ben Cox getting the day moving for his team with shots such as these. But having got to 23, he lost his middle stump to Bradley Wheel, a ball that didn't get up as much as the batsman was expecting. He was out with a total on 259 for six, but the home team continued to press on through Joe Leach, a man who rarely goes through a match without impressing with either bat or ball, or indeed sometimes both. He was soon striking the ball cleanly, while at the other end, Mitchell simply went on and on. There are few batsmen on the domestic scene with his application, determination and powers of concentration. And this was by no means the first time that he's taken an innings of his into epic proportions. At lunch, he'd made 134 out of a total of 314 for six. So it had been Worcestershire's morning, no doubt about that. And it was their afternoon as well. Leach and Mitchell continuing their partnership as they batted their side into a position of real strength. These two also ensured that their team earned a fourth batting bonus point while keeping Hampshire down to two with the ball. Mitchell's almost ridiculous run of form against this opposition continued as he now got to his 150 off his 319th delivery. He had by now found the boundary 21 times but those shots weren't necessarily the high points of what was a high-class innings. Leach then clubbed Wheel to the boundary to give the all-rounder his ninth four to take him to his half-century of 64 deliveries. His partnership with his captain went on to add 123 runs when Leach got himself in a bit of a muddle and lobbed a simple catch off Danny Briggs to Gareth Berg. The batsman on his way for an enterprising 59 at 382 for seven. Worcestershire were clearly hoping to have to bat only once in this game and so on and on they went. Mitchell now joined by Jack Shantry and these two carried the total up to 423. Another 41 runs being added for the eighth wicket in 11 overs. On 21, Shantry sprinted down the wicket to Will Smith, missed the ball and was stumped. He walking off with his captain still there on 181, having by now batted through an amazing 129 overs. By the end of this knock, Mitchell had batted for 23 hours against Hampshire in his last four meetings with them, scoring 532 runs while facing 1,066 deliveries. His 408th on this occasion had him at his double ton, an innings which by now had lasted more than eight and a half hours. Exactly 100 of his runs had come in boundaries. It was an astonishing effort from a man who simply loves batting, especially against Hampshire, it would seem. Adam Wheater was gifted a second stumping when Syed Ajmal almost threw himself into Warwickshire, the Pakistani on his way for 16. And then Charlie Morris bottomized a slog off Jackson Bird behind to leave Opener Mitchell unbeaten on 206 after nine hours at the crease in which he'd survived for 413 deliveries. His side were all out for 478. Hampshire had been in the field for 141 overs and then lost Sean Terry to the fourth ball of their reply. Tom Cole Cadmore with a catch in the slips, a place where Mitchell actually made a mistake soon afterwards. He dropped Michael Carberry, who was unable to get the Hampshire response moving in the right direction. Their first target was to get to a total of 329 in order to scupper their host plans of not having to bat a second time in this match. Carberry and Jimmy Adams took the score to 44, only for the latter to be beaten for pace by Leach and trapped in front of his stumps after making 20. Hampshire's recent problems after an encouraging start to their campaign has been their batting at the top, with both these two, James Vince and Carberry, woefully out of form at present. At least here they added 31 runs for the third wicket, before Carberry, who'd got to 36, played across a ball from Adsmal and was LBW at 75 for three. 
Smith joined Vince and saw out the final 20 minutes of the day. A very good one for the home team, who now go into the penultimate one with a lead of 392. Hampshire still with a lot of work to do to avoid the follow-on.